What's up everyone, Game Player 2014 here. I'm just showing you how to make some Rayman soup. You know, like Rayman the video game. That's how you pronounce it. Rayman. Or Raymen. You know, like the name Raymond. So yeah. You know, everybody loves Raymond. So I'm going to be spicing it up with these chemicals here. These are some very potent chemicals. Enough to give you a good Cajun taste. And guaranteed to put you on the toilet like a laxative. First thing you're gonna want to get is this grind, this grinder for black pepper, or I should say African American pepper, because you can't say fucking black anymore. Now you have to say paint it African American. You know that Rolling Stones song? So paint it black. It's racist. You got they have to say paint it African American. You know, I see a red door and I want it painted African American. Now I don't have any onion powder, so I can't make the good Cajun taste. So I'm going to be using some garlic powder, which you're going to need anyway even if you have onion powder or not. This cane pepper, because everybody loves cane. Everybody loves Tim Cane, and I'm being sarcastic when I say that, but everybody loves cayenne pepper. Crushed red pepper, because why the fuck not? You gotta have it. Paprika, because why the fuck not? It's good for Cajun. Next, if you want to be extremely hot, you use Frank's Red Hot, because I put that shit on everything. And this, uh, I don't even know what brand this is. This is liquid smoke, hickory flavored. You only need a little bit of this. You need a bag of Maruchan's Raymond Soup chicken flavor. So make sure you smash those noodles up into little bits and pieces until they, sh until they start flying out all over the place, just like that. Excellent. So I got the bag open. You want to boil a half a pot of this shit. Water. It's in your blood. If you're allergic to it, I don't know how you're alive, but okay. So let's break this bitch open. Son of a bitch, I can't do this one-handed. Let's open this up. Let's pull the baby out of the womb if I can find it. There it is. This should all come with one. A little bit of a um, little bit of that uh, water. A little bit of this uh, this uh, the baby inside of the womb, per se. So uh, yeah, I should have my own co cooking show. I'm the absolutely the greatest host of all time. So you take this packet bag, you throw it off to the side. Then you come over here and you dump this garbage in here, the rest of the afterbirth. Dump it into the period blood. And there you go. Now you got the water shit boiling. Now this is where it gets all fucking tricky, is getting the rest of that shit out while it goes flowing all over the place. There's that shit in there. I'm gonna take this bag here, let me put this down for a second. You, know, you have to open it very easily and gently. Because if you don't, it's gonna go all over the fucking place, and we sure as hell don't want that. I just hit something, I don't know what it was. So there you go, you get this green bullion, dump it in there, have it cook. Now they say I dumped it in after, I wanted to cook it in the noodles, and I make my noodles al dente, whatever the fuck that means. It's nice and crunchy, not crunchy, but you know, chewy. It's like bubblegum. Now we turn this on low. Just like that, I hope you can see it there, it says low. There's no light there, so I'm sorry, but it does say low. Then you let it sit in there for a little bit, then you start grinding up this pepper. Now you want to take it upside down, you want to turn it upside down like this. And while it's like this, you want to grind just a little bit in there, just go like one grind. Make sure it's on the biggest setting, make sure you have, because big men have big dicks. And that's what I have. I'm a big man, I have a big dick, you sit it on big. If you're Asian, you put it on small. If you're American, then this. Now, if you're black, you always use that. Just sitting. But I'm a big man. I have a big dick. So that also that excludes my race. So there we go. We take that. And then uh, flip it back over so it doesn't spill over the fucking place. You see the shit's fucking cracks. Now it's all over the goddamn place. Son of a bitch. I didn't even know. Pop the lid off like so. And hopefully it doesn't go flying. And there you go. Oh, look at that in there. Oh, you can snort that like cocaine. Okay, now we dump it in there. Don't make sure every little bit of it's in there. Make sure they scream for mercy. And after it screamed for mercy like it just did there. I hope you heard it. I'm just kidding on that. Put it back and you throw it in the garbage. Now a little bit of garlic powder. It's always good for torturing people. If you want to put it in their eyes, it does make them scream. Uh, personal experience whenever I masturbate. I'm just kidding. Garlic powder. You just need a little bit of garlic powder in there. You don't need a whole lot or else you need more chicken flavor. So that's about enough. You just sprinkle it in there. Now we're done with this shit. Now we come over here with the blood because not the broth is going to turn blood red. So we just take the hell out of this and we just do that. Good. Perfect. Come on, focus, asshole. There we go. Perfect. 
Looks like it just squirted. Now we take the red pepper. We come over here. So there we go. Crushed red pepper. Always just put some in there. I don't know how much I just put in there, but you just do that. And hope for the best. It's always good either way. It just tastes the fucking same. Now you can do the same thing with shrimp. I call it Cajun shrimp. Southern fried shrimp. Whatever you want to call it. The uh, Confederate shrimp. I don't care wherever you're from. Call it whatever you want. I don't give a shit. So now we take the paprika slash slash uh, solidified blood because that's what it sort of looks like. It looks like sort of solidified blood. Or no, it looks like uh, iron oxide. So we take a little bit of that and we sprinkle it in there. Make sure there's a small puddle in there just like so. And now the broth is turning blood red. You add a little more whenever. There you go. Perfect. Now we uh, put the lid back on it because some people just throw this shit away for no reason. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not a professional chef, but I make better shit than them. Then we take the Frank's Red Hot. And if I can get the shit open because it's fucking impossible to open this up. Just like that, break it open without breaking the top off. If you do, you're going to get glass in your eye, and we don't want that shit. I've had a piece of glass stuck in my or not glass, but a piece of iron stuck in my eye. Not a great feeling, but whenever it comes out, it looks like a fuzz. So you do a little bit of a droop. Okay, a little bit too much, but oh well. So you do that, and that's looking absolutely disgusting right now, and when it looks disgusting, it's good. And after that setting, you turn it off, because now it's going to become overcooked. Now you take a little bit of liquid. Now, okay, now in all seriousness here, you only need a little bit of this shit or otherwise you're going to overpower the taste and you can look on the lid and make sure it's like that and, oh shun of a bastard bitch it came out like a fucking came out like cum couldn't stop that even if I tried so I just fucked it up but alright whatever we, we always have a correction here an emergency uh, supply of this chicken shit right here Weiler's chicken powder. Good to snort like cocaine. I'm just kidding. If you do drugs, you deserve to be slammed into the ground. So that's what it says. Chicken powder. So I guess they grind chickens up into a powder. So that's always great. So then you just do this. You open it up. You only need a little bit of this shit. Don't mind the pills. I think these are laxatives, are they? No, these are for acid reflux. They're not mine. I don't have acid reflux. So, uh, inside of the lid, you're only going to need a little bit of this, so that's what I do. Whip a little bit too much, but alright. Yeah, so, you only need a little bit of that like that to overcorrect the taste. Give a little more of a chicken. And then you just sprinkle it in there, hope for the best. There you go, get enough. It's just stuck in it. Come on, asshole. Whatever, get enough. Slam that lid back on there as hard as you can. And make sure you break the glass so it makes a ginormous mess. Throw it in the garbage. So that's about it. That's all the chemicals you need to fucking poison this. Uh, now, if you really want a great after effects, I, uh, I suggest uh, nail polish. It's always great. 70% alcohol. It's always the best. Now, now, this is isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Never mind. It's not nail polish. Uh, if you want to spontaneously combust somebody, you put nail polish in the shit and then uh, tell them to hold their forks in and then they'll spontaneously combust. Now, we need a fork and spoon. So we come into this drawer here, your fork and spoon drawer with uh, optional accessories like knives and murdering tools. You come over here, you start uh, just, you just you, like this, just spin it around. Spin it around, Morty. There you go, just nice and, there you go, it tastes like blood. It looks like blood, I should say. Does it taste like blood? I don't fucking know what blood tastes like. I mean, I do drink my own blood, but, it, you know, I'm, it's just a clean out of wound. Fun fact, if you get a snake bite, you're actually supposed to suck the venom out so it holds this, so it doesn't spread out through the body. I need a big bowl, because I'm a big man and I have a big dick. There we go, a little bit of a chip in there, but probably ate that at one point or another. And that's just the way life fucking goes, I guess. Then you put your shit in the bowl, and uh, get this fucking cup out of my goddamn way. There we go. Cooking time with Game Player 2014. That's how you make spicy Rayman soup. And whatever is left in there, just fucking dump it in the sink. So there you go. Actually, since there's something plastic in there, I can't leave it sit. Out of my fucking white plastic. Worthless. Should play Chinese. Oh, son of a bitch. That's why I don't use plastic plumbing. Just fucking. I even tell you how to clean your dish. Just like this. Make a big fucking mess. Clean it all 
box, nice and cool. Dump it out like that. Perfect. Nice and clean now. And you put it back in the thing and it's good enough. I'm gonna leave it in the sink. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap in there. No realism. Yoink. So all you need is a little yoink. A little yank and soon it'll be coming out like a uh, coming around a mountain, I guess. So then after you've made your mess, you gotta clean it up. So this is what I'm gonna do, just throw that in there. Don't mind the air cooker. You throw this shit in the fridge. Uh, I would just throw all this shit back wherever I found it. I don't even know what this is around about, I guess. Put that shit, uh, put that shit there. Yeah, all right, then we go over to the fridge and put this shit back in here. Because, you know, you gotta have step-by-step -step tutorials or else nobody's gonna watch your videos. Now, this is the best way to, to do a tutorial. Now, you're gonna get your foot involved in here somewhere or another. And then uh, you pull your penis out and start wanking over your uh, dinner. Now, if you really want to get, now, if you have a Yelp review, you're, you put uh, boogers and cum all over it. So, it's a special meat sauce. Then we're going, and we're going we're gonna to taste this shit. I'm going to describe the, the, the flavor. Let's grab the spoon, because that's what you do to a woman. You spoon her in bed. And then uh, get a little bit of that shit in there. Yeah, there we go. Blow on it. A bit smoky because I'll use too much you only need a little drop of it I'll use too much but the chicken actually complements it very I taste the garlic the red the uh, pepper and the spice is just very beautiful it's it's a different taste, so you have to try it yourself. So that's the end of the video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I'm just doing this just to make fun of these cooking channels. Because I think they're fucking hilarious. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Make sure you put some matches and t t shit in there, too. Uh, you gotta have matches in there. So, uh, what the fuck's this? Burnt. So that's the end of the video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you bitches later. Point zero eight. Holy shit. We're gonna breathalyzer test on cops. Holy shit. Point zero eight is legal. Look at this shit. She's still blow holy shit. Well you know that's fucking rigged at that point. It's still going up. Point one eight three. Holy shit. She's like literally the definition of a southern, like she is literally the southern hillbilly stereotype. I have to throw this in there because it's hilarious and I'm watching cops. Nothing else fucking on. I love it whenever the, the cameramen get involved and they just slam people on the ground. It's fucking hilarious. I wish I had that on fucking film. Anyway, yeah, that's it. See you. I completely forgot to taste the noodles. They were very soft and chewy. They're chewy, they're not soft to the point where you can swallow them whole, but you have to chew them a little bit. And that's what you want, it's good consistency, good texture. Alright, see you.